Hey, hey, hey there folks, Sean Pesk here, bringing you another audio commentary, and today we have an elf mirror uh, between Psy and Home Sons. I believe Sons is a clan, and it's going to be on Terranus Stand. It's another game, unfortunately, without an observer, but uh, this is actually a really fun map, Terranus Stand. Obviously it has a couple imbalances, certainly. Uh, it's It actually, but obviously an elf mirror, that's not too much of an uh, issue at all. Uh, but it's it's a pretty fun map, just in terms of expanding, it's not too hard, so you can get quite good macro games, but at the same time, the map isn't actually that small, so you can uh, get some good pressure in there as well. It's, uh, yeah, overall, I quite like it as a map, although obviously, uh, in terms of balance, it does have a uh, slight problem, but it looks like both players are going to be starting out with the standard creeping. Um, because of the, because, uh, her size actually putting his Ancient Boar just a bit further down here, so we can eat this tree, whereas uh, Home is just uh, going to be putting his Ancient Boar here, obviously going to be willing to tank a bit more damage before he eats that tree, which isn't too much of an issue really, just because you're never going to lose your Ancient Boar in this situation anyways. Uh, and so we're going to have to see, both players are almost certainly going to be opening up Demon Hunter, um, Priest of the Moon not too great, yeah, it is two Demon Hunters, Priest of the Moon not too great on this map. Uh, it's alright, but certainly uh, with the builds they're going for, certainly it's not viable. Uh, particularly until we are going to be seeing these two wisps passing at almost the precise same time. Both players really have this timing down to a T. They know exactly when they need to have that wisp in their opponent's base to scout out the hero. And then after that, there's not too much scouting you need to do until you um, until uh, time is start to uh, or until it's time to start attacking. At which point you do need to check if they are attacking and not putting up a second age of and a hunter's hole or something tricky like that, which is pretty unlikely, but better safe than sorry, especially with wisps or you could just hide them on the map and they'll continue to harvest lumber and it looks like we immediately have home uh, bring these uh, one wisp there just so that all three just so that the archer has the lightning shield cast on him and then he moves it right into this position very very nice there could take out these crews very very quickly and meanwhile we do have a similar thing probably going to go on here if I sigh uh, looks like the wisp actually was going to go up but then decided to go back and much why I decided to do that, but we do have this creeping now done by home because of that nice um, lightning shield play and uh, finally actually it goes off on Sai who could perhaps be better to bring it down to the wizards now yes he does, so overall it will probably just balance itself out though I think home will be slightly further ahead just because he managed to take down these creeps a bit quicker with that lightning shield trick and it you can't take down all three with that lightning shield as you can see here from Sai but uh, still not too big of a difference and uh, both and uh, we do have a uh, circlet being picked up here for Psy, and, ooh, actually a circlet being picked up here, and then a uh, slivers of agility. So, uh, ooh, actually both players getting the exact same items. Very, very nice mirror up to this point, and actually tremendously good items. They couldn't have hoped for better items, really. Uh, certainly claws of attack are nice, but I think circlet overall is much nicer, especially w when you get to those high levels. It really starts to pay off, and it looks like both are, um, we do have some tech here for home, and we do have tech here for Psy, so both players playing pretty similarly, but we don't have the standard t uh, creeping duo uh, level 3 from home, who's instead putting on a lot of pressure here, going to try and take out one archer very early on, that'd be very very nice, if he could do it, he can, with uh, the help of one shot from the creep, and the creeps have now been aggroed though, so home will need to be careful, one wisp being brought out here, could be used to do a bit of blocking there on that archer, but the archer does stop, and this one, one wisp actually could be in a lot of trouble, could go down, no, nice building a moon wall there by Sai, it's not too far of a position, obviously, I was sort of going for a wall here so they could protect his Ancients of Lore or Ancients of Wind when they do go up, but in the end he, he decided it would be better just to go for that uh, moon and keep that one wisp alive without having to detonate it. It's a nice choice there, and we do have uh, Staff Teleportation being used by Home to get back, uh, just because he was a bit outgunned at that point, and he had taken a bit too much damage on his Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, Sai should be able to creep to level 3 now. That would be very, very nice for him. Uh, just having that level 3 is so critical. And, uh, you know, it looks like we have lots of us for both players just scattered on the map. Both of them have very good map awareness. And we do have this creeping now going on, but home immediately back into this fight. Good, um, hide his archers, but we do have a wisp, presumably. No, we don't have a wisp. Oh, one's just coming now for Sai, which will be able to reveal these archers. Very, very nice there. And, uh, that will mean that he can get the kills if he wants to. Though it looks like the creep is up for grabs here. And, uh, home does actually manage to steal it as well as getting the, uh, sentry wards. Nice distraction there by him. And, uh, that's a really, really smart play. And uh, it's going to uh, really get him very close to level 3 with this Ancient of War kill as well. Sai is now in a bit of trouble, putting down one of those sentry wards, and Sai hasn't noticed he's going to take a lot of damage here on his archer. And he does eventually manage to get it away, but not before having taken too much damage. And uh, Sai now chasing down those archers, but they do eventually hide. And it looks like this one archer did heal up on the uh, moon walls, and this uh, archer needs to continue running. There is still one more charge on the sentry wards, and it is actually put down right here. So there's nowhere this archer can hide nearby, though hopefully Sai has noticed that 
and will run his archer out here and then try and hide it. But the, his demon hunter does come back in. Both of them still level two, and actually really good items on both of them. And how much he'll be able to take out one wisp and then probably get a run away. And both pairs should be approaching tier two now. Yes, looks like they are both at tier two, so uh, they can both pick up their nagas presumably. Uh, although actually, um, we do uh, we do okay. Ooh, look at this! Sign buying the Goblin shredder. Uh, that's on the home side. We do occasionally see Keeper of the Grove being bought. Uh, that's an alright choice, but it looks like neither player, or actually, we do have a Hunter's Hall here for s for home, but not one here for. Ooh, buying two Golden Shredders. We're going to see a lot of pressure here with these Shredders, which obviously are fantastic against the Archers if you can get them in place. And it looks like uh, home has realized this, and he's put actually putting up an Ancient Protector. That's really a huge investment. Sai coming in with his Shredder, his Archer, and his um, Naga now as well. And he has this other Shredder on the way as well, remember. This is a lot of DPS, actually. I haven't seen this strategy before, but it's very, very nice to put on this pressure at the time when you expect both players to actually not have a huge amount of um, health and four Wisps being brought in as well to uh, do a lot of repairing. And the DPS of Sai is just so much above what you'd expect it to be at this point. And so uh, Home really not prepared for us. Having to use all his Moon Juice immediately should be putting up Ancient of Wonders. Yes, he is there. He's going to need that healing. He's gonna need a uh, um, nog of his own presumably at this point though certainly uh, with this really really expensive strategy here from Sai uh, something on, uh, something else like a tinker or keep the grove if it had started would be nice as well but uh, just uh, it's uh, too late probably for that keep the grove ancient protector is cancelled though and look how much damage is coming up from these golden treaders now even an ancient of war being uh, brought back now by home gonna be very very useful taking out the archers and the uh, golden treaders actually and the wisps and finally, a Naga has been bought here by home, and actually Sai needs to not be taking extra damage from these Ancients of the Lore, which are now producing Dryads, because it would just be so, so tricky to get bears out at this point, unless he can get Rejuvenation, at which point that's actually going to be very, very useful for him. But it looks like he's in a bit of um, trouble now. He is actually teching Tier 3, which is quite surprising, considering uh, the expense, but I guess he just wants to get uh, his bears out, at which point he and Mo will be in a great position. We you know uh, Demon Hunter of uh, Home is taking a lot of damage, but so is the Naga of Sai. Sai's Naga does go down, and uh, that um, the Naga of um, Home was very instrumental there. And it looks like we are going to be seeing a lot more focus now on this Demon Hunter of Home, but it, it should be able to get away um, because there is no Naga left for uh, Sai to do a bit more damage. But look at these uh, Shredders still at full health because of all this repair, and Ancient of Wonders going up in the back. Such nice pressure, but the first two Dryads are now out. Good to have a nice slowing effect. The Demon Hunter does go down there for uh, home. I think he had a TP. I'm not sure why he didn't use it. Maybe he just was a second too late, which does occasionally happen if there's a high damage roll or something like that. Also, this Demon Hunter does a bunch of extra damage, so he n might not have been expecting to go down to that hit. But uh, certainly that's a huge loss for him. He's going to have to buy it back now. Only level 2, but that takes a fair while to come back once you're, when you're under this sort of pressure. With this Demon Hunter at pretty low health, it should be possible for all the slowing effects of home's remaining units to uh, slow down the Steam Hunter to the extent that he can take it out. But more archers rallying in now for Sai, and this Ancient of the Wonders is almost done. Maybe he can buy a healing potion here if he can keep stay alive, but look, it looks like Home is really dedicating himself to taking down this uh, Demon Hunter. But now the Naga is getting very, very low. Naga being chased down by these two Shredders, which are a bit slower, but looks like the Naga might just be able to get to the Demon Hunter in time. Demon Hunter uses his TP to get out of here. One dry does get out, uh, does get killed, but it looks like this Naga will be okay. For the little, for a little while at least, but these archers are around. They don't have the. Oh, look at this! The Naka comes down for Sai, takes down um, the uh, Naka of home at the s in a split second, and now um, Sai in another very strong position. Still no range upgrade actually for these archers, uh, which would be a nice investment really at this point, considering he's gotten this tier two, and uh, the Deem Hunter is almost back now for uh, uh, for um, home. But the Deem Hunter is already back here for Sai. Looks like. Uh, or it, it looks like it healed up on the moon walls and then just uses staff teleportation to get straight back into this battle. And uh, both players now issue staff teleportations on their demon hunters. But uh, at this point, there's just going to be so much pressure on this base. Tier 3 has now finished. We do actually have bears coming out. I'm not sure if we've had uh, adapt training. Oh, yes, actually, we have had adapt training finished now. So well, that's going to be very useful if he can stall for long enough. But Sai's just putting on so much pressure now. I'm not sure if Holmes is actually going to be able to uh, keep his demon hunter alive long enough to uh, be rejuvenated at which point that just becomes so so strong because rejuvenation is so powerful especially considering Sai doesn't appear to have too many wisps left in the battle he does actually have a couple around so maybe he can dispel a couple and dispel the mana of the bears as well and it looks like Naga is coming back in though and uh, Home should have really been around 
with his uh, demon hunter to uh, sort of uh, distract a bit when this naga popped out. This naga is going to take a lot of focus. First bear is out, immediately gets a rejuvenation there off on that naga. And the demon hunter of size is yet again in a lot of trouble being chased down. And will he get taken out? He does um, heal off one more time with the healing potion, and it looks like he will be chased away. And a TP being forced to be used by home though. Will he be able to get the kill though? He gets a, a one hit with his bear. He does get the demon hunter kill, and now Sai is in a um, is still in a pretty good position. But without that demon hunter, he doesn't have the huge tank he needs. He does still have a couple shredders though. Will he be able to stay in this though? A Zeppelin coming in to save his units at the last second, just when they were looking like they would be trapped. And this ancient or this tree of attorney doing a huge amount of damage. But I don't think Suns has anything to heal up on uh, anymore. I just can't see any moon walls he has left. Uh, any Ancients of Wonder he has nearby, and that's just so unfortunate for him. Uh, he really does just need that healing at this point, uh, and uh, without that, his Demon Hunter is just in a lot of trouble, and uh, maybe he's going to wait for the Rejuvenation on this bear, but it's still a good 50 mana away, so he does have a little while to wait there, and in the meantime, Psy can do a lot, a lot of damage here, uh, even though he doesn't have his Demon Hunter, he can just use all his range juice. He's coming back and going to try and get the uh, Demon Hunter kill there, or the Naga kill there, but his Demon Hunter does get killed, and there's the GG from Suns. Wow, what an amazing back and forth game. Really, I love that aggression there by Sai, using those two shredders to do a huge amount of DPS at the time when you really don't expect either side to have too much DPS aside from uh, two heroes and maybe if an archer or something. Really in innovative play there by Sai. Very nice aggression and with those wisps healing as well, or repairing as well. Very strong tactic. So I hope you enjoyed that game, folks. I'll try and bring you some more games as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.